Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to go, we're going to install the Ryzen 7 5700G. So that's the one that's got the integrated graphics. Supposed to be really good. We're going to install it and then we're going to test the temps and we're going to run it a game or two and see how well it works. And can it really do what it says it can do? So let's do the install and see how things go. Okay, so we've got our AMD Ryzen 7 5700G. We're going to install it into our motherboard. It's pretty simple. There's nothing really fancy uh, about installing a CPU these days. People have done it many times. I've done multiple videos on it. We'll just quickly get it out of the box. Your CPU is always tucked in the side here. Okay, so you can see that there. We'll put that in afterward. And of course, this is going to be our CPU cooler. And of course, it gives you a little instruction booklet on how to do the installation. So if you need it, it's there. So we get this here and take it out. We're going to have a look. Now, these always come normally pre-applied with thermal paste. So I always take this top part off. All right, so we're going to take it upside down. And you're going to be able to see this. Now, what happens is, and I do this quite often, and it's quite frustrating, actually, is the plastic stays in the bottom. Well, I want that part out because if I want to set it in there for a second, I kind of need it, All right? So, but at least you can see the pre-applied thermal paste. So we're just going to put that on here, All right? So that protects it, and that's how it's going to, how it's going to go on. And it installs very much like an Intel CPU. So this is just going to go in, screw those in, and that's all there's going to be to it. So let's get our CPU out. You have to be careful with this so you don't want to damage it or nothing. So just go from the corner, be very careful. It has little hole, uh, divots in the side here. Okay, so that you can reach in without touching it or damaging it. Check your pins, make sure that they're not damaged before you use it. And if they are, well, take it back to the darn store you got it from or re return it because It'll cause you nothing but grief, and it may not even work. So here's our CPU. All right. Now, down here, you can see that triangle. Now, one thing I've noticed is they've made it bigger now. Okay, It used to be so small you couldn't even hardly see it. And when you look at your motherboard, so I'm going to zoom in on the motherboard so you can see this. Okay, so I turned around as well, so it's in the right orientation. you got your little handle here. You have to push it out. By on beyond this little tab, so you just pull it out, lift it up. Okay, once it's all the way up, you're good to go. Your triangle matches is on this corner here. So when you put your CPU in, all right, I'm gonna show you this. Okay, match your triangle with the triangle down here in this corner, and it will, if you line it up right, it'll just pop in. Okay, see it's not moving, it's all in there. And then just put your handle back down, go underneath this little tab. All right, so just bring it down and it locks in place and you shouldn't be able to pull it out if it's in the right just don't go hard or maybe it will and that's it so i'm going to need to take these out uh, these brackets off in order to screw those into the holes from our back plate okay so i'm going to show you that here in just a second so when you look at the back of the motherboard this is where our back plate is at okay and these are where the brackets are fastening it on. So when you take your brackets off, this back piece will come off and you will have four holes on which will pop up where these screws are and then you'll be able to fasten that on. So I'm going to go ahead, going to take these off, gonna unscrew it, and then put our CPU cooler on. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if the 5700G really can play games, and how well it can play games, because that's the most important part of this whole video. Okay, so these come off pretty easy. Nothing too much about taking them off. So now you can see with the back plate still in place because it's sitting on top of the box, the motherboard came in, and that's where our CPU cooler is gonna screw into, these, these places here. So I'm we'll going to take this one off, and the installation will be pretty simple. 
Keep those brackets, by the way, in case you need them later on and you're putting on a different CPU cooler. People wind up asking me quite often in the comments, where do I buy them? And because they threw them out, now they got to go buy, cost them like seven bucks to go buy another set of these to put on a CPU cooler. Now, a lot of aftermarket CPU coolers aren't going to need that, but in this case, you are going to need it. So, thing to keep in mind, of course, is this little logo. Make it go this way, so away from your memory slots. So, orient it this way. So, when you're putting it on, you line it up with the uh, back plate the where it's going to screw into. And the only other thing you got to do is your four pin for your CPU uh, CPU cooler. And you're going to find out where it's at and plug it into the CPU fan header. Okay, so first thing here, line it up with the holes that are on here. Once you get it lined up, you're good. Remember, the CPU paste is pre-applied. And now we're just going to tighten these down. So when you tighten them down, just go a little bit at a time because if you go too much, then you're going to have problems getting the other ones done. So just go a little bit, move over. I always go diagonally and you will hear that little turn. So not to worry. If your cable gets in the way, just kind of move it so you can get in to get the corner one. And again, don't put them down too much because if they start catching, then one of them will lift up a little bit. Then you're going to have to push down on it and you kind of want to avoid that if you can. So the last one, just put it in. Okay, once you hear it tightening and go back to the first one you started with. There, they're all in. Now we're going to find out, uh, line this little tab here. Okay, see that tab? Line that up with your CPU fan header and you're just going to plug it in. So we're going to zoom in so you can see that. Okay, so our CPU fan header is right here, CPU fan one. So line it up and then just push down. That's it. And then we'll have to tuck this cable out of the way. We'll figure out what to do with it later on just so it's not in the way but for now it doesn't matter too much and then we're uh so now i'm going to move install the operating system next put our memory in of course and then uh, we're going to proceed to play some games okay so everything is ready to go um so it's just a matter of powering it up and hopefully on our little screen on the left here we will get a post crossing my fingers All right. Now this is the 5700G, so integrated graphics on the CPU. So hopefully we will get something up here. And you can see the screen's flashing. There we go. All right. 5700G with the radar graphics, DRAM. So it's on a default for the memory. It's recognized my keyboard and mouse and the DVD drive I get in there. So F1 to run setup. So Sure, let's go in and run the setup. Success. Thank goodness. Okay, so before I get on to the uh, doing the uh, tech games and stuff, I wanted to show you a little bit more about the CPU itself. So I did a quick uh, benchmark of the CPU itself, and you can see that the uh, processor got a score of 637.4 uh, with the uh, multi threaded CPU uh, processor coming in at 6490, so 6490. Okay, so I wanted to show you one more uh, thing using Cinebench R23. I know that this also performs much better the faster your RAM speed is. And I don't know to what extent, I believe they said 3600 is the sweet spot. Okay, so our multi-core pass is done and we got a score of 13,617 points. So just wanted to show you that to see how well it works. When it's working on all its cores and it's doing its thing, I'm impressed. So I tried to play uh, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I got the no display adapter coming up. And then I realized, okay, uh, it's AMD product. But I didn't download the AMD software. So I've gone in to AMD.com, drivers and support, and I'm going through and I'm going to install the software because obviously this is a driver issue 
once I do that, hopefully everything is going to work and we'll be back. So now we're just downloading and installing all the AMD chipset drivers, everything because uh, integrated graphics, it's new to me. I really haven't used it before. So hopefully after I do all this, it's going to install, it's going to reboot, and then we're going to try running in the game again. Okay, so rookie mistake, but now that I've done that, restarted, everything is working much, much better. So hopefully I can just play a little bit of this for you. Now, the, the idea uh, is not going to show you FPS and all that kind of stuff. It's just going to show you how the game plays. So let's just play a little bit. I am pleased because first I wasn't sure this is even going to work, but it, is it's definitely working. Uh, uh, don't seem to be any lag. All right, let's. Uh, what am I going here? Warning: Grab the content. <laughs> Just scream. Stealth kill. It's over. It's safe. It's over. But it's definitely working as I'd expect it to. I'm happy with this. Yeah. I'm not having any lag or anything like that. This is great. I'm really impressed, to be quite honest with you. This is working every bit as well as I was hoping it would. And yeah. I'm happy with it. So we're going to call it at that. And in the spirit of Halloween. So this is Witcher 3. Uh, so far the other game played really well. But this is a little bit more hands on. FPS is not uh, not great. But some of these games are pretty demanding. So I'm not really going to track it. I'm just looking for playability more than anything else. So I haven't been here before. I thought I had. But colors, textures, everything. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't honestly know if I had a graphics card in this or not. It, everything looks so, so good. So, I just wanted to try it on a couple games and see what it looked like and go from there. But for those of you that want to see the FPS, so Witcher 3, now this is all at Ultra Settings. Okay, so keep that in mind. Ultra Settings, 5700G, and everything played perfectly. Never noticed it. I know it says average FPS of 17.8 for Witcher 3, Shadow of the Tomb Raider 26, and it, it feels like it's a lot more. So obviously, if I had to turn it down to like medium settings instead of ultra and high, um, you're going to get a drastic increase. So I knew people would want to see that, so that's why this is here. All right, so basically I focused on how well did the games play. I chose a couple of pretty high-end games, kind of. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider has got a lot of graphical stuff in it. There's a lot being done. Uh, I think it was 33 frames per second. Now that's with everything set at ultra, ultra high. So as high as the, it was allowed to get. And uh, obviously tune that down a little bit and you're going to get respectable frame rates. Considering you don't have a graphics card and this is just integrated graphics, I think it's pretty good. Temperature stayed pretty good. Uh, I didn't have any real issues with that whatsoever. Um, yeah, and on idle, I think it's running about 34 degrees. With the stock cooler, I might add. Uh, obviously, you can always improve those things with a better cooler, which I usually do later on. I usually replace it. In fact, I just bought one that I'm going to put on there later on. And um, but the games themselves played great, absolutely no problems. Um, I didn't notice any lag, anything like that. So, anyway, there's the installation. There's a couple of games, a uh, little bit of look of the FPS, and the temps stayed pretty good. Uh, low of uh, 35, I think I said it was, and I think I got up to about 65 on those two games, which. Obviously, I think it'll get a little bit higher than that with more um, more of the, like maybe Cyberpunk 2077 or something like that. Something more demanding. So it might raise those temperatures up a little bit. But 
that's the way it is. So if you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Uh, hit the join. Uh, join the channel to support it if you wish. Um, helps me a ton. Uh, so do the likes, you know. YouTube recommends me more, so you'll see them. And if you want to see more videos, hit that bell for future notifications so you can see videos as they come up. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And as always, have an amazing day. Till next time.